and welcome to a new episode of Trailer Talk. Today I have a random assortment of trailers uh, from the past few weeks, maybe even older. I am kind of just have some stuff I want to talk about. Um, so let's get started. There's no real theme here, just cool interesting stuff. Thumbs up if you like Trailer Talk. Please leave a comment below if you want to talk about some of the games in today's episode. I'll probably got some questions for you guys. And um, if there's any like trailer you would like to see me talk about in a future episode, please let me know below as well. So uh, with that said, let's get started with, which I can't remember. Let's see. Oh yes. Uh, I've shown shown trailers for this game a few times now. It's kind of it's kind of interesting to me. Ah, uh, Team Ninja, who's kind of fallen from grace, you know, uh, is making a game that looks a lot like Animusha meets Dark Souls, and I like both of those things. So maybe I'll give it a chance. And you play as a dude who kind of looks like Geralt from The Witcher, and you fight like kind of Oni demony things, but it's like Dark Souls. And I don't like. Look at this. This looks like a Dark Souls game. And I don't. I don't know why this is captivating it to me. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm playing Dark Souls 3 right now, and I'm. I kind of want a new setting. I want something that feels dramatically different. You know, Bloodborne didn't quite do that. And kind of feudal Japan, demony Dark Souls seems like it'd be kind of cool. Now, I mean, I worry a little bit about Team Ninja. You know, these days, Ninja Gaiden 3 sucked. You know, Metroid Prime, Other M sucked. Um, Metroid, Other M. I don't know. But look, you can summon a shark, and you can summon a dog, and a bird, and, and that was like a little tiny puppy. I don't know, man. I have high hopes for this thing, which maybe I shouldn't have high hopes, but it looks like Dark Souls. They are even saying ready to die. This is probably just a straight up Dark Souls knockoff, but sometimes... Knockoffs lead to cool things. Ooh, there's a demo coming out soon. Oh, what do you think? I'm curious. Should I, should I, should I kind of curb my enthusiasm? Let me know. All right. Oh, this is this is weird. This just got announced as part of the Square Enix Collective. That's Square Enix letting some of their dead IP. Uh, be worked on by like indie developers and stuff and they're gonna support it and guess what it's fear effect fear effect is back it's on Kickstarter right now the thing is let me pause it here with permission from the Square Enix Collective this is not like a Resident Evil style cinematic action game like the old fear effect games this is uh, it's like this isometric top-down turn-based RPG just set in the fear effect universe Maybe? Maybe? Could be good. Going right into this next trailer. Uh, for a little game that's coming out soon. Uh, one thing I noticed about the trailer is it looks this game looks a little framey. But it's by Frozen Bite. They're the guys that make Trine. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show this because... They've been making Trine for a long time, and it's nice to see them kind of branching out and uh, trying something new. This is a, you know, like a story-driven stealth game. Um, but you can kind of see the DNA of Trine in this game a little bit. Uh, like, look right here. The swinging stuff, this is like straight up the rogue shit from, from Trine 3, which was pretty cool. I don't know. No one's really talking about this thing, but it could be kind of cool. Those trying games are pretty fucking sweet. Like, this shit looks rad. Looks rad. I don't know. Little stealth game. Comes out, like, at the end of the month. Physics, you know? That's why we play Frozen Bites games, because we like physics, right? <laughs> don't, don't mind my dogs. They're freaking out. It's cool. Trailer talk continues. Shadwin. Come, or it comes out next month, but it could be good. Hey, Hyde and Manty, how about you come here and join me as I do this trailer talk? All right, so this next trailer is, uh, I pulled an older one, but I kind of wanted to show this. 
It's uh, the new King of Fighters game, and if you remember King, King of Fighters 13, it was a beautiful 2D game with amazing sprite work. They're going with 3D models for the new mainline King of Fighters, and uh, I don't know if it's intentional, but it looks kind of like a PS2 era throwback style. Now, I'm curious, like, are they trying to make a game that kind of harkens back to older 3D games? Because, like, the character models look really simple and kind of flat. Uh, the animations look pretty simple. And the particle effects and stuff, they look kind of budget. Now, either these guys are really bad at making 3D games, or maybe they're purposely trying to make it as like a throwback style. I mean, that happens. You don't see it often in 3D. But, uh, you know, Street Fighter V just came out, and that's a beautiful, smooth game. Everything kind of flows nicely. This... What do y'all think? Am I crazy to think that this is, looks super budget? I mean, their 2D stuff is, like, brilliant. It looks so fucking amazing. I don't... Why would they do this Switch if they're not good at 3D? It reminds me a lot of the Fire Emblem developers when they first did 3D on the GameCube, and it was like, oh, God, your sprite work was so amazing, and this shit looks so jank. That's what it reminds me of. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe some people think it looks cool. And this final trailer is for a game that comes out at the end of the month that I am very fucking excited about it's from the creators of guacamelee i think my game of the year that year drink box they're making a uh, a dungeon crawling rpg style game for the vita it's probably going to come to other stuff and you use like the touch screen to attack stuff kind of reminds me of like uh what was the, the game that the shadow complex guys did for, for mobile phones but whatever it's a dungeon crawler and it's got a lot of fucking style, man. And I love this developer. It's got skill trees and shit. This this shit could be pretty fucking great, man. It's probably gonna have great music. Just look, look at some colorful and stuff. I just can't believe it's only coming out for the Vita. And I'm glad I have a Vita. I actually have a fucking Vita. It's weird. It's, it's called Severed. Um. I don't think I'm going to be able to broadcast it because it's probably not going to work on the PS TV. But I am super, super excited about this game. Can't wait to talk about it on the podcast. It's going to be great. And uh, I think that's it. I think we're done here. Um, anyways, that's it for Trailer Talk. Thumbs up if you like Trailer Talk. Let me know what you think below. And I'll try to get the next episode out sooner rather than later. Goodbye.